let's move in to uh, the roadmap. So this is, you know, a lot. Of, I'm going to throw a lot of stuff at you here. So many people ask me questions about this. How long does it take me to get from point A to point B? How do I do this? What type of results should I be seeing? And because it seems as though re um, remote is so vastly different from door to door and in home, the timeline on door to door uh, is always different than your timeline on remote. A door to door rep, uh, I remember our goal would be for door to door reps back in the day to get them on the doors, get their first appointment the first day they're knocking. And within a week, if we can line up their appointment with a solid closer and get them a deal and get them, you know, uh, a few hundred bucks commission, 500 bucks, thousand bucks commission, Australia, much lower commission than the US, and see their eyes light up and go, holy shit, my first week I made this much money. We had them, right? And they would work their asses off for us. With virtual, it's different. Virtual is different because of that massive hurdle at the beginning. So the timeline, you need to have a realistic timeline on it. But remember, after this, after this, I'm going to show you on why this is all worthwhile. <laughs> um, uh, honing in on, uh, on remote solar sales as a craft. Okay, so stay tuned for that. It's not just all bashing remote and talking about the, the problems and the difficulty of it. So let's take a look at like your first month timeline, right? Your early timeline. Um, this is rough. This doesn't, you know, this is obviously not a rule, but this is like a rough understanding. And depending on your budget and your lead source and the amount of hours you put in, okay, let's put all that to the side. Let's just look at a rough timeline here. So first 30 uh, second conversation uh, you should have within the first day of, uh, of selling. What does a 30 conversation look like? It's a conversation where someone just doesn't hang up on you. And you can do that if you have a full day of calling on the colds and you get enough answers, you're gonna have at least a 30 second conversation. A lot of them will be five to 10 seconds, but you can get your 30 second conversation if you just put enough work into it. Uh, having your first appointment booked remotely within a week would be great. And again, if you're dealing with inbound leads or you're dealing with different type of lead that's not like cold or, or cold outreach, you could be hitting this a lot sooner. Um, but having your first appointment booked in within one week, not a bad goal to have in terms of the timeline with remote. It's probably going to no show on you. Be prepared for it. But there you go. And if you can line up your first deal sold within a month, again, you have age leads, you have inbound leads, you have referral leads, you have a lead coming from a content uh, uh, personal brand that you're creating probably a lot quicker um, or hopefully a lot quicker, but um, a deal within one month is not bad at all. If you don't get a deal in a month, you're not losing, um, but if you can get a deal within your first month, right, and which is probably gonna come in your fourth week, uh, then you are not doing bad at all. By the way, it's probably gonna be a fluke. It's probably gonna be a low hanging fruit, um, but it's just because you put in so many hours of calling and, and booking appointments and showing up and, and pitching people that you found a low hanging fruit within a month. Okay. Um, that is not uh, outside of the realm of uh, possibility here. Here is, however, a quick start guide. So the re reason I'm starting this uh, is to give or showing this is to give people like a, like a snapshot of what it could look like. Again, so many different avenues here, but this is like a high level of, of what your, your roadmap looks like. You're, and again, we're talking about challenges today. You're plowing through these challenges. Throughout this, you, obviously I haven't put them in the quick start guide here. I could put like in parentheses, you're gonna find this challenge here and this challenge here and this challenge here and this challenge here. But you're plowing through those challenges as you work to uh, down this timeline, okay? Day one, you get your training, get your mentorship, get a community, get your support structure. Day one to seven, you're learning, you're looking at your script, you're, you're gathering information. You don't really have any challenges yet, right? It's all just, ooh, it's exciting, it's new. Um, I generally have a rule that when you start in remote solar sales, you have at maximum seven days uh, in between you start learning and, and, and figuring things out to when you start calling. One of the biggest indications for me that someone's not going to do well is they take more than a week then I've seen people take weeks or months learning, practicing the script before they actually start making calls, right? So I generally have, and that the talk about challenges, that's a mental just screws you over. When you have those challenges and you're, and you're just only learning and only practicing stuff and not actually implementing it into the real world, that is a massive, massive um, uh, negative thing to your, to your mindset there, okay? Uh, just jump straight in. Seven days I usually give max. Week one, 
Start basic lead generation, cold outreach, email, SMS, cold calling, uh, content creation, creating your personal brand, getting content in front of homeowners, whatever that looks like. Uh, again, yeah, if you have a bunch of cash, that could look like running ads from day one. I'm not, not a massive fan of it, but that's what it could look like. Um, month one, add paid lead generation to your arsenal. I, I, I would say generally, like the, the at earliest, if you have cash, that's what I would prefer. Figuring out the game, doing some cold outreach, cold calls, cold appointments, and then jumping into paid. But no one likes it when I say that. They just want to do paid leads right off the bat and cut corners. Uh, that's my my uh, my take on things. And month month three, optimize, scale up, build a team if you want. So that's what you're trying to achieve on a like a, a core level while you're coming across all these challenges. But let's take a look at sort of where those challenges are fitting in. So we talked about our first week. I'm going to paint a picture for you. And this is just going to be brutally honest, by the way. It's just it's going to be, it's not going to sound nice in the first week or two. That's, that's the whole point of this webinar, to, to give you a, a very clear understanding of what you're going to, to come across here. Um, your first week, the harsh reality of rejection ha, ha, uh, hits within the first hour, especially if you're doing cold calling. Constant hangups, not interested kind of customers, confusion on how to handle objections, anger that you're not succeeding, a handful of customers that let you speak, and when they do let you speak, they'll let you speak for 15 seconds, and then they say, is this solar? I'm not interested, goodbye. Uh, hours of no answers, minimal opportunity some days, you don't speak to anybody some days, uh, you get a massive feeling of second guessing your decisions, is this worthwhile? Oh, I feel horrible, your brain is telling you, you're not getting any dopamine hits, you're not getting any serotonin hits. Just go on TikTok and get that, get that buzz, man. Stop getting cold calling, stop talking to customers and getting the, the crap kicked out of you and getting rejection constantly. Go do something that you know is gonna get make you happy. Go Uber Eats McDonald's, go watch TikTok for five hours in the shower. That's what your brain's gonna be screaming at you when you jump into something like this. Um, and maybe, maybe you've got one or two booked appointments who then no-show you. And those first few appointments are going to be weak as hell, right? You're not going to have added any value to your customer. You really just got through the pitch with somebody and you sort of just forced them into a 5 p.m. appointment two weeks down the road and they hung up on you and blocked your number. That's that's what your first week looks like. Is that is that transparent enough for everybody, right? Someone clip this and put me side by side by one of those guys that's flashing like <laughs> handfuls of cash and telling you you'll be a millionaire in your two weeks. This is what it really looks like. You really want to get prepared? That's what it looks like, all right? Let's be real here, okay? Your first week's rough is what I'm trying to say, all right? It's going to be rough for you. But, but things start, start getting a bit better as you go and you're doing the things right. Your first month... Your structure is starting to come into play. You've put your head down. You've you've uh, done what everyone is telling you to do, um, and uh, you're following the structure. And you have an order of things. You're getting into the swing of things. You're having much longer conversations on the phone every single day. I call them full throughs. Right, a full through is a full conversation. Someone let you finish a pitch. Um, not specifically a booked appointment, but a full through. That's a step before booked appointment. And that's a metric that you can hit. First month, you should absolutely be doing full throughs all day long. Okay, um, You're also starting to see how to book customers consistently. And equally as importantly, you're starting to see why appointments are no-showing you. This is one of the biggest learning learnings that I like to give in virtual uh, Solar Club's live training. We do uh, sales call reviews uh, every single Monday, Wednesday. Yeah, every Monday and Wednesday we do sales call reviews, appointment setting calls on Monday and closing call reviews on Wednesday. What those are is people send their call recordings and myself and others are in that and giving feedback. We listen to the call and we give feedback to the person right there and then. See how you did this, see how you didn't do this. One of my favorite ones to do is someone sends through the appointment setting call of an appointment that no-showed, that didn't pick up the phone, right? And what we try to do is we try to discern what they didn't do properly on that appointment setting call uh, to make the customer no-show them. And I nail it generally 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Not because I'm a genius, because it's pretty obvious. And when you're able to pinpoint, oh, that's why they no-showed me, because I messed it up here, or I didn't handle this objection here, or I misunderstood what they said here, and listening back to that just shines a light. That starts happening in your first month. Initially, that challenge is rough, because people are no-showing you, and you have no idea why. Oh my gosh, that rejection is rough, man. But when you actually start realizing it's like a formula, oh, I, well obviously they didn't pick up the phone at 5 p.m., because yesterday I didn't say A, B, C, and D. I'm dumb. 
And that only happens with call reviews. It's very, very important. It's why it's my favorite time of the training sessions. Um, in your first month, you probably have a handful of very messy closing calls. Uh, again, maybe some low hanging fruit. You might even have a deal or two, you know, probably very messy, very low hanging fruit, but that is what your first month of remote solar sales looks like. Again, if you're dealing with super hot inbound leads and you're paying a bunch of money for it, we could be talking in different terms here, but within your first few mo uh, a month, even with hot inbound leads, if you have a few deals, they were probably very messy. Okay. That's, that's probably actually probably doesn't change. Um, but the, the lead was just good. So you closed it. Um, you, maybe you found one or two layup customers that you closed, but uh, maybe they cancel. And you're starting to see a very clear progress from now versus when you started. So first month, right? We're at, we're at 30 days now. Massive challenges the first week or two. First month, we still got challenges, man. Hey, let's not, again, I'm not saying after 30 days, you're going to be a weapon. You're going to close people left, right, and center. Not a chance. You're still going to be very, very messy, Okay. But you need to be aware of that tiny little progress. And if you don't see progress in yourself, it's very difficult to keep yourself motivated. Solar sales progress, remote solar sales progress is like looking in the mirror every single day and not noticing that you're aging, right? Um, and uh, I guess, you know, you look in it 10 years later, you'd notice, but not, you know, a, a month later. Same with remote. However, with remote, it's a bit quicker, right? One month, you're exponentially better than you were day one. And one year, you're infinitely better than you were uh, one month. But very often, it's difficult to see that in yourself. So that's why having the people around you to, to support and you know, give you feedback is super important. Uh, months one to three, astronomical progress from the day you started. Failure and rejection now mean far less to you. Autopilot, cold calling, organic content creation, and work ethic. Things are looking up. Things are looking better. All right. Uh, your mind can now wander and entertain itself while you call and pitch. Start really caring about setting up quality appointments and setting them up well. And closing is starting to make a lot of sense. More closing opportunities uh, and uh, potentially and hopefully a lot more closes happening after you get in the swing of this after a few months. Now, let me clarify. Do I mean uh, month one to three after only putting 30 minutes to 45 minutes a day into this? No. No. A, a challenge. What was the number one challenge I spoke about? Work ethic. You cannot expect to get to this level at months one, two, three, and start really seeing some good progress and results after putting in an hour a day, four days a week for the past few months. That's not how this works. It's not how time works. This is a full-time thing. You're putting five, six, seven hours a day thinking about it at when you're not calling every day of the week, man. This is business. What, you think you can take time off? No, this, you got to put the work ethic. Nah, let's not talk about, oh, today was really tough at Starbucks. You know, we had a big lunch rush. Oh, I'm just distraught. You know, I had a four or five hour shift and I'm just done. We're not. This is another level, man. This is a completely other level. So months one to three is, yeah, you've gone full on, full time hours. And now you're at full time hours after, uh, uh, to months one to three. This is when you really start seeing traction here, okay? Don't come to me with the, I've been doing it for two months, three months, and I haven't even got a single appointment yet. Okay, how many how many hours a day do you make calls? Oh, well, you know, I call on Tuesday for 20 minutes. Get out of here. Months three plus, a lot of your processes are on autopilot. You know most of the customer's objections and customer mindsets. You see the potential in yourself far more than before. Uh, your content brand is starting to get traction, maybe even leads and sales. And remember, if you haven't watched my uh, organic lead machine webinar, go find it if you can. I think it's a massive opportunity for a lot of you out there. Uh, you saved up cash from some commissions you've earned. Maybe you got time for some paid traffic. Maybe start running some ads. Maybe get some better systems. Who knows? Some opportunities are starting to open up. Uh, you start thinking about building a team or scaling up ads. And you move to Mexico and start selling on a beach while tanning. Uh, I haven't tanned for a very long time, but I have sold uh, solar on many beaches in Mexico and, and so have uh, many people. Uh, but that is, uh, that's the end goal. And yeah, I, I don't think uh, at month three plus, literally getting up and moving is uh, uh, to another country is outside of this realm of opportunity. I've seen many people do it. I did it very, very early on. Um, but again, this is full time. We're talking full time hours, right? But at month three of full time, you should start seeing tra uh, traction, okay? Um, you should really start seeing opportunities. Um, and if not, uh, opportunities to start really taking it seriously with paid la uh, leads, with more traction in your other lead generation methods. All right. Um, oh, 
uh, yeah, and I just put uh, some some basics of what you should expect. Five hours per day at least when starting full time. If you're cold calling, call in predetermined hour every single day. If you're using content creation, um, create and post a video every single day to your audience. Uh, engage and uh, uh, engage with your support structure. Do not go alone. Live training, get a community, get around people, um, accountability networks, all that fun stuff. And consider the first month. Here's a great challenge for people out there to really circumvent a lot of these challenges that I've been talking about uh, today. Consider the first month purely for learning. Do not look at results after a month and make any conclusions. The first month is just to learn it. Don't even think about um, uh, whether, oh, I didn't get five sales, this is not gonna work for me. Now, that doesn't mean pure learning in terms of book reading. That means after week one, you're calling people, right? You are you are interacting with homeowners, you're sitting uh, consultations, you're booking appointments in, you're doing the gig, right? Uh, but after that one month, don't look at, oh, I didn't get any sales, this isn't working. Look at, okay, cool. Now I've done a month, I, I'm pretty you know, semi-confident with the process. Let's start taking a look at my metrics. Oh, I can get my show rate up. Okay, this month I'm gonna get my show rate up. Next month, oh, my, my close rate's a bit low. I'm gonna get my close rate up now. That's what we're talking about here. Little steps along the way.